Hey folks, so we're gonna do a McKay style demo today where we're gonna ask a Lankian agent to help us take this basic Figma template and convert it into a nice looking website. And the way we're gonna talk to the agent is through Siri. So let's get started. Personal designer. I am your personal AI designer. How can I help you today? I want you to import landing page from Figma. The request will take a few seconds to complete. So what's happening right now is it triggered an action uh, by the agent to import from Figma. And what these agents are in, in Langchain, are basically they have access to a bag of tools. Um, and these tools could be something available in the Langchain library or something that we can configure ourselves. And they also have memory. So they remember conversation and we can go back and forth with them. Um, and in this case, we're just gonna ask to modify design. And then also they can communicate to us through the actions they're taking and the thought process, um, as well as, you know, we talk to them through Siri in this case. Uh, we have two web pages over here open. So this is gonna be the imported code. And the other one is gonna be something that we're gonna show after modification. So right now what's happening is it's using this tool, which takes Figma template and uh, load it into Langchain through a, a loader, a document loader, and then from there, it's gonna convert it into code that can be displayed on our website. There we go, boom. So it converted that. Let's look at original. And this is what it imported into our app. And now the good thing is we can make modifications, right? Task so let's do that. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I want you to modify the design to add a form at the bottom with two fields, name and email and a submit button. The request will take a few seconds to complete. So now what's gonna happen is it's gonna take this code and then perform the action that we said, right? And it knows that it has access to this tool, the, another tool, uh, which is different. So it knows you know, the difference between all of these tools and um, it's also in plain English, right? So I describe saying modify design uh, or, or the code and it reaches out to this particular tool, uh, which takes original code, sends it over to open AI models and from there, it's gonna generate code um, and then give it back to us. And this process could be iterative. So I can just ask the agent to make as many changes you know, as, as, as needed um, until I'm satisfied. And then we can basically see what's going on. So there we go. So it has the, the added form with um, you know, input fields and a button at the bottom um, so maybe now we ask for it to, you know, maybe add a testimonial section. Let's see how, how that goes or, or, you know, anything that, that, that do you like? So, um, yeah, I mean, we're just going to give it a second for the execution of the task. task there we go. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. I want you to modify the code to add a testimonial section at the bottom. will take a few seconds to complete. So again, now what's going to happen is it's going to take this modified code and then use that same tool mentioned earlier um, and then send over to the JPT models for, you know, basically adding what we requested, uh, in this case, a testimonial section. So as mentioned earlier, again, this could be an iterative process where we, you know, ask to, to make any changes as we like. And not just that, uh, we can add as many tools. So the, the next tool is that we're gonna take the website that's um, built or modified, and then we're gonna try to deploy it and let's see how that works. Um, and these tools could be, you know, as mentioned, something um, as simple as an API call or um, a function in, in Python or right now even in JavaScript. Or it could be, you know, complex chains that are available in Langchain. So you can add just a 
call to that particular chain um, and then use that as a tool uh, that the agent can use. Now this call is taking a little bit of time again because it's taken that all of that code. There we go. Wow, look at that. Two testimonials. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, could you deploy the app as agent made? The request will take a few seconds to complete. So I have Vercel open over here, and then I also have uh, my GitHub repo. So repo is listed. So let's see, let's refresh. Wow, look at that. That's available. And hopefully, oh wow, there's something. It's popping up in a second. Yeah, look at that. All right, completely deployed website, which is functional with buttons that we can configure. Of course, we can go back and ask for it to do certain tasks, you know, with those buttons. We can go back and maybe ask for it to add something to the bottom, footer, header, nav bar, um, anything. It's an iterative process. We can just keep working, um, make changes until we're satisfied. So there we go. It's the future of web design. And the execution over here probably is going to take another few seconds, but just want to show you how we went from a basic Figma template to a nice looking deployed website Task that is completed. fully functional. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed.